guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have two polish brands I want to share with you. I have ILNP, which stands for I Love Nail Polish, and then I have Reverie, which used to be an Etsy brand. So let's go ahead and get started. So ILNP, um, I haven't bought from them in a couple years, a few years, probably like at least three years by now. I used to buy from them. Uh, I only have seven polishes, so it's not like I went crazy and bought from them all the time. Um, but they tend to do a lot of holographics, which isn't my favorite. I know now that it's not my favorite um, finish. That's why I don't really buy from them anymore. But the first one I have is Spiced Eggnog. And this one's probably my favorite. Um, it's a really beautiful yellow, which I don't like yellow typically. But this one I just really love. It's a really soft yellow, like a buttercream yellow. And then it has these really beautiful, tiny... Um, like rust colored flakes. This is just so pretty, it's so interesting. I definitely don't have anything like it and it's just really, really pretty. I love this one. And the next one is Valentina. Yeah, Valentina. And this one is like a soft aqua, well, like a aqua bluish color. Um, then it has that really pretty pink flash in it. This is a jelly, it's extremely sheer. You're not really gonna ever get this opaque, so you can either wear it as a sheer polish or you can wear it as a topper. This looks really good over like other aquas and teals. This one is really pretty. And then the next one is Tenfold. Now this one is one of their holographics, um, but it's so sparkly, you guys, that I actually really enjoy it. Um, tip, I know I say, I say all the time, uh, typically I don't like holographics, but when there's glitter thrown in or like just an added sparkly dimension to it, I like, I tend to like them. And this one is just really, really pretty. It's a really um, nice, like a, like a mid-tone green. Really pretty, really, really sparkly in the sun. I like this one. And the next one is Fall Semester. This one is probably my second favorite one. This one is so beautiful. This is a really deep, dark teal. And then it's just got so much shimmer and dimension in there. Um, not quite a glass fleck, but it's kind of on that same vein. Really, really pretty, you guys. Beautiful in the fall, fall semester. Fitting name. And then the next one is Float On. This one is another holographic, but again, it's got so much sparkle in there that I really enjoy it. This is like a really beautiful, like a pool blue. This one looks really nice on my toes. And then when I go to the pool, they just like sparkle through the pool. It looks really cool. That one's really nice. And then I have Interstellar. This one's really interesting, actually. It's um, like a galaxy. Interstellar. It's a very fitting name. Really, really pretty. I like this one. I like to wear this one. And then, you know, even though it's got like little shimmers in there, I like to wear this one with... Um, uh, color um, China glaze fairy dust on top and it just it sparkles it's so pretty and then the last one this one is kaleidoscope and this is one of my very favorite um, toppers it's a beautiful flaky topper but it's like a rainbow but it's a, a dark rainbow really really pretty I really like this one all right so next one I have is called reverie um, I found these on Etsy a few years ago. Um, from what I understand, they're no longer a brand, um, but a few years ago, they were pretty popular. And so I have six polishes. The first one is Secret Garden. And these are all, with the exception of two, these are all like chunky, um, crawly polishes. So again, I'm not into the, those types of polishes anymore, but at one point, I really was. So this one is Secret Garden. This one is a really pretty, like almost like a forest green, not quite forest green, but then it has all these really pretty like pink glitters. It's got um, like teal glitters and then there's a bunch of like little gold glitters. Really pretty. This one is really thick. I think most of these, the first four that I'm gonna show you take two to three coats and then by the third coat you're kind of getting into you know thick gloopy territory this one i think only one of them has really gone bad this one the formula when i swatched is still nice so this one is wearable i might have done it in two coats i don't remember to be honest 
And then this one, this one's pretty. This one's a Christmas one. This one is Yuletide. And I actually wore this um, a few years ago for Christmas. For Christmas Eve, I think I wore it. So this is like a, I don't know what you would, how you would call this green. That's not pine. It's not like a pine green, but it's just a nice bright green. Then it has all these really fun, like rainbow type glitter. I wouldn't necessarily call these Christmas colors because it's got yellow, it's got pink, it's got purple, it's got blue in there. But this is really fun and festive. I like this one. This one has a pretty good formula. Um, I'm pretty sure this one is three coats, but it doesn't get that thick and gloopy when you do the third coat. And this one, this one unfortunately has gone bad. This one is Some Sea a Wish. This one is probably, well, maybe like my second or third favorite. I don't know. I love I like this one a lot. Um, really soft, kind of like a, not quite sea foam, like a sea foam green, but there's a touch more blue in it. And then it's got these really pretty soft colored glitters. There's pink, there's some white in there, there's some vibrant gold in there. Really, really pretty, but this one, um, when I went to swatch it, has gotten thick and gloopy. So I will probably be decluttering this one since you know I don't really wear these types of polishes anymore anyways. So I'm not gonna bother trying to you know, um, thin it out or anything. And this one is really beautiful. This one is probably, I would say maybe my favorite. This one is Province and this one is beautiful. It still has a really nice formula. I actually think I'm gonna wear this um, in the next week or so when it gets a little more fall. This one is just a really beautiful, I don't know how you would call this base. Um, I don't know. It's not really teal. It's not aqua. It's not quite sea foam. It's just, it's really pretty. And then it has all these beautiful, beautiful glitters in there. There's like magenta pink. There's purple. Really, really pretty. I just, I really like this one. And it still has a really nice formula. And this one, this one, ugh, this one's kind of a letdown, you guys. This one is Bonfire. And this one is so, so stunning in the bottle. This actually would be one of my most unique polishes if it actually came out on the nails like it is in the bottle. Like look at you have all these fiery, like coppery flakes, and then you have those gorgeous bright blue flakes, and then you have these really beautiful purple flakes. But on the nails, those purple flakes, even when I hold the bottle upside down, those purple flakes never ever translate on the nails. Um, the copper ones do, and those pretty blue ones do, but then the formula on this is like a jelly, and then it's like a jelly curly. Um, so you do three coats to try to get those purple flakes, and then you still never really get those purple flakes. You do get the blue and you do get the coppery, but even at the third coats, like my swatch that I'm gonna show you, I'm pretty sure it's three coats, and it's still kind of jelly looking. So I don't know, I don't know. It's just, in the bottle, it's so beautiful. Like, look at that. But then on the nails, it's just mediocre. So, which is a shame because like I said, this would be one of my top polishes and it definitely is one of my most unique polishes, but it just doesn't translate. And then this last one, um, Nightfall, this one, is another polish that's so much more beautiful in the bottle. So this one is a very soft purple. Like what kind of purple would you say that is? Like a, kind of like a lavender purple, I guess, or like a dusty, dusty lavender. And then it has all that beautiful, look at that beautiful, beautiful shimmer. Like a turquoisey shimmer. Really, really pretty. Um, on the nails it's pretty, but it's not, as pretty as it is in the bottle. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the swatch pictures. I have swatch pictures for all these polishes, so you should have already seen them as I've been talking. But this one is just, I don't know, not my favorite. Um, anyway, so those are all my polishes. Um, let me know down below if you collect any of these brands or you know if you used to collect Reverie, if you have ever heard of them. And then let me know what some of your favorite ILNP polishes are. Um, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.